Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen uh, I'm pretty excited about. I was pretty excited to buy this. This is one of those pens I buy when I am uh, symbolizing something in my career. I did a roll and I bought this pen. Uh, it is from the Japanese brand Wancha. And uh, this is how the pen comes to you in the mail. It is just absolutely beautiful. Wooden box, little elastic tassels and all that kind of stuff, nice print on it. Uh, but the box isn't what we're here for, although this is a rather lovely one. So let's uh, open this up. And uh, this is how it all comes inside. Uh, we get a little bit of sort of uh, warranty information and instructions and all that kind of stuff, which is all very handy. Some cartridges in a little paper baggy thing there. Also very lovely. We get the, if I can get this open again, the Certificate of Authenticity. This is the Dream Pen True Irushi, uh, and it gives a little bit of information about it all, and yeah, it's nice. It's it's a really beautifully sort of packaged and uh, presented item, and then the pen actually comes in this little pen sleeve or little kimono thing, and what we have here is the Wancha Dream Pen True Irushi, and this is the Midori Tamanuri finish. Um, this is beautiful. It's on the. I'm not sure how clearly it's going to come up on the camera, but it's like this sort of like very rich, sort of green brown with these lovely hints of the green sort of coming through on the edges and the corners, which is one of those like trademarks of the uh, Irushi Irushi uh, method. Um, so we can talk about the parts features of the pen, talk about do a little writing sample, size comparison, all that kind of stuff. Pros and cons. Okay, let's get started. Top of the pen, nice sort of dome. Uh, you know, very polished finish uh the pen swells out to the middle of the band there which uh as you see has nice sort of examples of that beautiful sort of green coming through and the pen continues along and then tapers down to another beautifully polished uh little dome on the end there the cap uh unscrews in one and about th about one and three quarter turns revealing very uh comfortable step down and threads they're quite blocky, which is great. Um, and then a section that tapers, flares slightly. Once again, beautiful, de you know, little, you know, highlights of that green. And then a number six. And I just got this with the plain steel nib. It's a Yovo nib. I know how they write. I know I enjoy them. Um, and so I was comfortable and safe getting that. And I got a medium there. And of course, the nib is branded there with Wancha on it. And then just a simple plastic feed. The body unscrews. On some nice metal threads there to reveal a converter it is a schneider branded converter uh, which is what comes with the pen it is standard as they say european uh, international uh, cartridge converter which is very nice more branding on the uh, on the little i don't know what the bit's called but you know what i mean that bit there uh and yeah that's basically like the that's the the guts of the pen, if you will. The cap has a spring sort of loaded liner, which keeps, you can sort of hear that working there, uh, which keeps the pen uh, from drying out, which is lovely. The pen is made of ebonite and then covered with the Urushi lacquer. Now, I'm not one of the, I, I like, I know the basics of it, but there are lots of great videos on what this actually is and what they do. But basically the idea is it's done layer by layer, polished and, you know, like, it takes months to make these pens. Like making the body of the pen, turning it from ebonite, probably only takes a few minutes in reality. But doing this Rushi lacquer, which sort of, as I said, you have to do a layer, let it dry, polish it, do a layer. And they do this over and over again to create the depth of color and that depth of, you know, like the, just that beautiful, sh like shading within the material, which is just absolutely beautiful. And then the feel, once you've got that, the feel of it in your hand is just absolutely lovely and it gives the pen good weight uh, it's a very traditional japanese method uh, and something that uh, is very very uh, well respected worldwide and um, that wants to do very very well one thing about arushi and these pens is that while you technically technically can put the cap on the back to post it you probably wouldn't uh, because you would it'd be such a shame to ruin this sort of flawless seamless um, material and also it does make quite um, a large pen and it's not super secure either so um, these pens best written with unposted 
Of course, there is also no clip, no roll stop, anything like that. So this is gonna be one of those pens that will roll around on your desk. And uh, a pen like this, you probably wouldn't want uh, to do that too much. Time for a size comparison with the Lamy Safari. You can see it is a pretty good size pen. It's longer, it's girthier, it kind of, it's, it's a really solid size. Uncapped, you can see it's still out you know, is 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 longer than the Lamy Safari, uh, but I think what makes this pen feel so nice in the hand is just the general size and that sort of, that girth of the pen. And if you decided that you just had to post this pen, you could not write with it any other way, you can see it makes a very long pen um, when it is posted. I think the strength of this pen is actually, one of the strengths is, is how it feels in the hand because of its size. Like you do have a reasonably wide section there you've got a number six size nib so you know like you've got a good length from the page uh, but it sits so nicely in the hand and the weight of the pen is all sort of focused in this middle of the pen here so it doesn't feel like you've got the pen in your hand sort of you know weighing you in any direction the specs of uh the want to dream pen true irushi uh is 155 millimeters when it is capped so good solid, solid size uncapped it's 136 which is very very good uh capped uh, posted sorry it would make 187 and as i said i wouldn't be doing that the girth of the section is around 11 millimeters there in the middle so it is a pretty decent length section the weight of the pen is 31 grams 22 in the body nine in the cap so without the posting you have a very solid substantial pen in your hand and it feels great Let's do a writing sample now with the Wancha Dream Pen True Irushi Midori Tamanuri. This is Clefontaine uh, 90 gram paper. As I said, this is the Midori. Tamanuri, I hope I've spelt and said that correctly, finish. It has a steel Yovo medium nib. Now you can also get 18 karat gold nibs for this at a, uh, you know, a higher price, of course. Uh, but I think that this nib does a beautiful job. The ink I have in here is a Robert Oster. And it is Velvet Storm. Great ink. In fact, if you're a, a fan of like uh, uh, Lamy Petrol, uh, which was a limited edition there a couple of years ago, this is actually a really good option if you can't get your hands on that anymore. Let's do some writing. Super smooth and reliable. Quick writing. No issues whatsoever keeping up. It's a really reliable nib, really reliable feed. Uh, let's just do some uh, wetness. It's not the wettest, but it's certainly definitely not dry by any stretch. Um, it's smooth, there's a hint of feedback on it, but I think because, you know, Wancha is a Japanese brand, so you expect, you know, like Asian nib grinds and feel, you don't get that, it is a Yovo nib. So if you're used to writing with Diplomat or uh, anything like that, this is the kind of experience you can expect. Reverse writing is pretty scratchy. Um, but you can get a few words out, it makes it very, very fine. It is not a flex nib. If you push it down, you're letting more ink down, but you are not flexing the tines. So I would probably suggest you don't. But as you can see, very nice line. It's actually probably, this particular one is probably slightly broader than the average medium, um, but it is smooth, it is reliable, it has a good flow. I've never had any problems with this with ink starvation. Like you are talking about a Yovo, a Yovo nib and feed here, and then you know a fairly reliable converter. So the you know the guts and the mechanics of the pen are probably all fairly uh, what st stock standard in a lot of ways. So you would expect it to write well. Let's now have a little chat about um, 
the price of this pen. This pen retails for around the 350 US dollar mark. Now, for a steel nib and you know a nebonite pen, you might think that's quite a lot. And these aren't these aren't mass produced, but they are produced you know with a, a relative you know they're not one offs. They're not custom pens. Um, but for an Arushi pen. 350 US is actually a really very, very good price. There is a lot of work and a lot of labor, a lot of time that goes into making these pens. So 350 for a pen that writes well, that is unique and beautiful uh, and, you know, is, is not just an average, you know, injection molded or machine turned pen. I think it's actually a fairly uh, reasonable price point. And as I said, this is a pen I bought myself. This is not one that was provided for review. Let's quickly run over some pros and cons now for the uh, Wancha Dream Pen Truri Rushi. So I only have one con with this pen, one, and that's it. And that is that uh, when you order it, they're not like ready-made, you, you pre-order these pens. So there is a bit of a wait time and there was an extended wait time on this um, that was due to both um, uh, COVID uh, being in, you know, uh, affecting you know, movement of things in postage and all those kinds of in production. Uh, but also just generally like it takes time to make these pens. So I ordered, I ordered this months and months ahead. Um, and that, so if you're wanting that instant sort of gratification of getting a pen, this isn't the pen for that. But there are lots of pros. As I said, super, super smooth nib, writes beautifully, consistently, reliably, all of that kind of stuff. You know, when you pick it up, it's gonna write. It's got that inner cap lining that keeps it wet and all that kind of thing. Um, it, the size and the balance of the pen, like as I said, like in the hand it feels great because you've got a bit of girth, you've got a bit of weight, the section's not too small, you've got a number six size nib, so it feels really nice in the hand. And if you hold it back further, those threads, while you can feel them, they're not sharp at all, so not an issue at all. But I think the strength of this pen, or the, not the strength, the, uh, the biggest pro to this pen is the finish, that beautiful, polished, beautifully done Arushi uh, lacquer that is done here in the Midori Tamanori sort of finish. I think it's really lovely. I think it's beautiful. It writes well. Um, I'm certainly glad I picked this up and it will stay in my collection for a while. I can tell you that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video about the Wancha True Arushi, uh, Dream Pen, True Arushi Midori Tamanori fountain pen to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.